What's up guys, it's the Realist Ramp Man YouTube channel and today I am back with another video. Um, I'm going to be explaining why uh, parents are selfish and giving you good examples of them from like famous ex-pro current celebrities or just random people online that have got a lot of uh, controversy online. Um, on to another subject. Um, I am going to be, I did try and live stream yesterday, but it didn't work because I entered my phone number in to verify my account. Fine. Didn't send me the six verification code though. Didn't, didn't accept it. Nothing. Didn't accept the six verification code at all. So I'm fucked in other words. So I can't post community tabs, can't like, can't live stream. If you guys do have any advice, I strongly advise to leave some comments on how to, on how to basically verify my account because I can put in my phone number, but it can't, it won't let me do the, the six verification code in order to basically, and I've tried calling. I tried to put in the call option so they could call me instead and it hasn't worked either. So I really need some advice so I can start streaming. Anyway, um, back to the video. I'm go I'm, this is my third take and I'm fucking tired already. But um, <clears throat> I'm basically going to be talking about why, uh, giving some examples of why parents are selfish, right? The first one is um, Lana Rhodes. Now, basically, she was an ex-porn star, right? And she was highly ranked at one point. I think I've watched her videos. I'm sure a lot of men, or even if you're a lesbian, have watched her videos, right? And she's basically had a kid. Now, I think this kid's like probably one, two years old now. And that kid's basically grown up without no father figure, pretty much. And... She's now currently doing OnlyFans. So not only has she had a past in porn that she that's in the past and people are going to make fun of, but she's still basically showing... I don't know exactly what she does on OnlyFans, nor do I really care, but because I don't pay for OnlyFans. Um, why would you? But um, she's basically um, making um, a fortune off from OnlyFans. And when that kid grows up, whatever she's doing in that current moment, Kids are going to go on her OnlyFans. Kids are going to go up on Pornhub, right? And they're going to search up her videos. And they're going to use... Kids are going to, in the class, are going to use her videos against him. Because I made a stupid stupid old um, YouTube video once, which wasn't even that bad. And kids bullied me for it. For free, for almost... For about two years straight, I got bullied. It fucking sucks. I would not wish... I would not, well, I would wish my own worst enemy, I suppose, but you know what I mean? Like, it's not a nice thing to go through. So imagine actually going, you know, possibly having something worse that kids can use against you. That's going to that's gonna cause that kid all sorts of mental health problems. And then you've got the fact that they, he, um, that young man, when he grows up, isn't going to have a father figure. You know, I had a father figure at least. But he was barely around because my mum wouldn't let me see him. <laughs> Even though he was a dickhead anyway. So I can't really blame her. I can't really blame my mum completely. He was a dickhead. You know, he still is now. You know, he called me, tried to call me the other day and I ignored him. You know. He pretends he cares, but I don't think he does. He certainly doesn't care enough. I prefer to avoid him, really. I don't really... <laughs> I don't really want to talk to him. And what can I talk to him about anyway? Um, anyway, um, in other words, that's a good example, right? And a lot of kids go through this now, you know, where they end up being bullied because they don't have a good father figure in their life. And if the mother just thought it was a good idea, if the mother just aborted that child, that child would never have to go through any of that suffering in the first place. And then there's, you've got the Matt Rife, for example, um... Um, you got the Matt Rife controversy where he made that domestic abuse joke and all his fangirls got upset over it and there was one that uploaded, got her kid, her, her young boy 
to basically post to post um sort of diss Matt Rife and Matt Rife came back with an insult saying that your mum does only fans and things like that probably a bit not of a nice thing to do to a kid but then if she had never used her kid as a way to get clout in the first place then that kid probably would have never gotten upset in the first place do you know what I mean it's just so pathetic that is so so pathetic where have you think that domestic abuse I mean I, I haven't seen it to be fair but whether you think that domestic abuse joke was funny or not do you know what I mean and that's another thing as well the reason why especially if I had a son is is whenever it's completely fine to make a domestic abuse joke against men but the moment it comes against women the exact same women who make those jokes against men instantly get insulted do you know what I mean like the world is so pathetic it's unbelievable and that's another reason not to have a kid you know what I mean? <clears throat> you know what I mean? It's just, oh, no. But yeah, like, mum's using their kids for clout. Like, my mum always used to post me on Facebook, um, used to post pictures of me on Facebook, saying, look at my son, look at what he's done. Now, she would share it to her friends and to her family, to be fair. But <laughs> it just feels like I'm just there seen as a trophy. Like, do you know what I mean? I'm not actually seen there as an actual, do you know what I mean? Like an actual human being, almost. I'm sure, I mean, I think my mum does love me deep down, but but I prefer not being around her because, you know, she's the reason why I'm here in this world, dealing with the problem, at least dealing with most of the problems that I have. Because she forced me into this world without my consent. I didn't ask to be here. You know, it ain't my fault that I have autism. It's not my fault I have sleep problems. It's not my fault that I've got a shitty father figure. It ain't my fault. You know what I mean? It isn't. I didn't ask for any of this. I didn't ask to be born, you know, and you've got all these YouTube, um, YouTube, uh, channels, family channels that post their kids on just for clout. It's disgusting. Like those kids are going to get bullied, harassed, but yet no exact examples of why parents are selfish and they don't do what's best for the kids. They do, they only do what's best in their interest to show off. <laughs> most, most, most families, most ch most parents I know are not good parents. You know, I always I always used to get dissed for not wanting to do karate as a kid. I always used to get dissed for um, not going to youth clubs and things like that. I remember I always had my nan say, "Oh, you're weedy. You need to do some sports." Like literally, not not even like in a helpful way, just in a constant. Like she'd always find a way to like diss me, find poke little digs at me, and I'm like, "Why does it matter? I'm alive. I'm well." I've got somewhere to sleep. I like, shut up. No parents, they just expect things from you, but they don't actually care about you. You know what I mean? Especially, you know what I mean? They just, oh, parents, man. Can't stand them. Like, honestly, like each time I see a kid in a, a wheelchair, a wheelchair, a push chair, or, or I see a kid, you know, with its mum or dad, I think to myself, that kid's going to live a life full of suffering. It might be fine now. I remember when I was a kid, I loved being a kid. You know, especially when I'm around my dad's and I could do whatever the fuck I wanted and I could go on my bike and stuff. You know, it's funny when my mum, it's funny when I went around my dad's and while I did have to deal with an abusive stepmom and my dad let me go out in the morning, I think he just let me out because he didn't really care. But at least he let me do what I wanted. I'd much rather have a parent who didn't give a fuck about me than a parent that was overbearing. Do you know what I mean? My dad didn't teach me anything, though. He didn't teach me how to get girls. He just said, wear a condom and... and Because I'm kind of dissing on mothers, aren't I, really? But like even most father figures are bad. You know, that's why so many young men support Andrew Tate. Because they've got... You know what I mean? That Their actual fathers are fucking losers, in other words. And, and my dad, he used to literally, he, he literally used to, um, literally I had an abusive stepmom and he stuck up, he stuck up for my abusive stepmom over me and he's still with her now. I saw her at Christmas and I told her about my life situation, things like that. She said, do you know what you need? Do you know what you need? A good kick up the arse. And she gave me like a little smirk. Like a, oh. 
She looks like fucking. She looks like fucking Precious combined with fucking Jigoli Puff. No, she, no, she looks like Precious combined with um Kirby, the fat bitch. And I just looked at her and I, when she said that, not the thing about Kirby and stuff, but you know, needing a kick up the ass. And I looked at her and I thought, didn't you kick me up the ass enough as it is? Stupid tramp. But um, anyway, um, and um, basically what happens, and that's another story as well. I need another story as well. There was this blonde woman and she basically, I can't remember what YouTube Fanny, but they used to, Fanny, family, family that they used to um, do. I can't remember what it was called, but it's basically this blonde woman would, would basically have like five kids or something like five, six kids, something insane. And her dad, no, her dad, um, her daughter, I'm getting tired now. Um, her daughter basically was nine years old and she used to say, pack your own lunch, even though she's only nine. Fair enough if they were a teenager, but when they're a kid, like, come on. And she basically, that kid would starve, pretty much. And she wouldn't even, she literally wouldn't even give them like actual lunch, even when they called in that they were hungry. And she had a son who was about 14 and one time, her 14-year-old son went into his brother's room and woke him up and said, we're going to Disneyland in the middle of the night. <laughs> Quite funny, isn't it, to be fair? Um, and she took away his door for months and months and months. I think she even made him like not even have a room to sleep in and made him sleep on the sofa for months after he did that prank. Pathetic, right? And the father did nothing about it, of course, because they never fucking do. Most fathers are shit. Most mothers are shit. Most parents are shit. In fact, they force us into this world without our consent. That's why, in other words, long story short, wear a fucking condom, get a vasectomy if you're a woman. Go on birth control unless you have health problems with it, then get off it pretty much and only sleep with men that are willing or get with men that are willing to wear a condom or use or get a vasectomy and whatnot. Probably I did get a vasectomy after a certain age because it can cause issues with your hormones and things like that. I think there's still a small chance, very small chance of pregnancy anyway, to be fair. So nothing's guaranteed anyway. But um, anyway, um, that's all there is to it, pretty much. Giving you good, good examples of why parents are selfish. Uh, giving you good examples of... Um, why parents don't have your interests at need and simply putting it why uh, you know giving you good examples of why mothers and fathers are both bad they don't teach you anything you know my father just told me when it comes to getting girls just wear a condom and wait for the right one none of this go out, out and approach them or anything like that how to get condoms none of that stuff um and didn't even teach me anything else really didn't teach me how to stick up for myself. Even though I used to do boxing, I used to tell him that I was getting bullied at school and he used to say, I'll just ignore them. Months later, still getting bullied by the exact same people. Just ignore them. Like, what do you mean? And it, it will go. Yeah, but it also gave me fucking trauma, you knobhead. But um, anyway, yeah, I can't stand my dad, really. And um, pretty much... And... Um, Pretty much, same with mums, you know, they either care too much or they don't have your interest in it, so they try and force you to do stuff you don't want to do. You know, I've, I've had an argument with my mum saying, I wish I was never born, you forced me into this world, and all she says is, I chose her and all that bollocks. I think, I, have I already said that? I don't know. Anyway. Um, if you liked, please leave a like. If you want to subscribe, Follow for more content. If you want to leave any video suggestions, please leave in the comments. Obviously, just because it's a comment suggestion doesn't mean I'm going to do it. I'm just looking for suggestions. Right. And um, sorry that I couldn't live stream. That's not my fault. That's YouTube's fault. Anyway, um, yeah. Um, thanks for watching my video. Probably gained something from it, I guess. And um, yeah. And um, have a good day.